This is probably one of the challenges of the job, is trying to create space where there's not a lot of it. The timber floor being carried over to this surface gives the room a lot of length. Um, and it, I mean, obviously it brings it right out to the treetops. This is a bit of a winning spot for the master, master bedroom. Um, besides that, I guess, You've got skylight lining up with the window below, so you've really got this nice space coming down through here. Um, pendants, which are switched from wall switches. You don't need messy bedside tables. That's, uh, well, it's pretty, pretty conventional now. It's an on-trend to be doing that. The last thing people want is wires hanging on the floor and switches to their power points. This is the, I guess, bedroom two slash study slash second living room. Um, one of the things that we weren't sure of when we started was what kind of space we would end up here because this is the ceiling level below. So as you come across the kitchen, we step up and then you run out with those big, beautiful truss beams. So we always had this space, whether it would be a day bed, whether you just leave it and um, you know put the flooring down. So we've designed it that you've kind of got this inset day bed, but it's a bed that you can use for sleeping. So that's kind of really, really cool. I like that little timber detail as well similar to the master bedroom where it really just ties the floor up into this space and it, it really just lengthens the room. It's a really cool and again the ceiling, all the detail where all this ceiling meets to get it up as high as possible um, to give more sense of space when again there's really not that much space up here but it feels big. Coming down the stairs, this is a sense of the master bedroom and the study that we've looked at and really how much space there is. So on an external elevation, you've got these bays of louvers that open up and let the breeze come in of an afternoon, uh, better than aircon. And you come down the stairs, all the glue lamb timber, frameless glass, um, feels like you're literally walking straight outside and our landing here has been carefully placed at a little bit under a meter so no handrails required and it just feels like a big landing zone obviously got your glue lamb truss beams that match in with our landing our stringer and our treads it's a pretty big design consideration at the start there was the thought of is it too much glue lamb but really happy with the result of how the glue lamb beams stringer treads and landing have all come together coming through the kitchen um, this space is, I mean, it's the center of this whole house. Uh, you've got the kitchen with the columns. These four columns, actually, this is holding the original structure up. So through here, there's a column in the middle that we pulled down and the timber frame floor joists that are for your master bedroom and the study run through to here. So that's what's given us this low ceiling, which again, it was for us a, one of those things, we weren't sure how it was gonna turn out, but it really separates the space of this kitchen to the living living area. Um, there's little things in this kitchen that I love, you know, the mirrored splashback gives so much space. When you're standing in here, it brings all the outdoor greenery right in. A uh, few decisions on surfaces, but there was an easy sell for us on the mirror. Timber veneer overheads. Um, yeah, look, I mean, this, this again just softens concrete, black, and timber. That's the style that we've gone here. I guess that was the mood board. Everything ties in together really nice. One of the probably most standout features of this area, in my opinion anyway, is the concrete floors, um, but also the way that they meet these steel sliding doors. So the cavity sliders stack all the way in, which gives you a seamless transition between the inside and the outside. Um, and you can see the level of detail that's gone in to cut around these tracks. So they just float right into the floor. Now they close those up. You come have a closer look, come check out that. That's 25 mil of steel frame. With that overlapping and you stand back on a plan view, you've only got 25 mil separating a full glass panel. Um, and then again, recess. These are 100 by 100 tracks, head, top, bottom sides for the fly screen. That connects across, so with your doors open, you've got that whole space open. There's no frames on the fly screen. There's no dodgy hardware. I really love, this is the space for me, the black of the doors and the concrete really looks cool. These fly screens are so easy to use. Where's it going? Who knows? Into the wall, doesn't matter. Can't see it. How good does that look? Same goes for the sliding doors. Um, patina brass hardware. 
on the powder coated steel frame, completely disappear into a cavity. And that just opens the whole house up at the back. Two big bays of these, comes up really good and you can sit here, enjoy the fire. Um, that's one of the elements that I really like about this house.